don't know me, I'm Kat and I blog about conscious fashion at restitions.com. And today I wanted to do a video about my Reformation collection. Reformation is one of my favorite ethical and sustainable brands and before I uh, ever bought a piece from them, I would always see their marketing and be really skeptical about like whether it was worth the hype, the price, and all of that. So I wanted to do a video talking about my experience, uh, what I like about the brand, what I don't like, and to show you what it looks like on me, a real human being, and uh, to talk about the sizing and all of that stuff. So let's get into it. Before we get started with the try-on portion of this video, I want to talk a little bit about Reformation and why I like them so much as a brand. I think that their styles are really, really cute, and even though they are kind of trendy, there are some pieces that are more timeless and that you can keep in your closet for a really long time. I do think that they are on the pricey side, but I'm also of the belief that if you really love something, it's worth buying a more expensive thing that you'll keep around longer in your life. And I also think that it's worth paying more for something that you know is made sustainably and ethically. Which brings me to another point, and that's that um, Reformation has these yearly goals that they make transparent to all their customers. So they have goals about sustainability and goals about how much they pay their employees and their benefits and stuff like that. And then they also send out a quarterly report on their progress of those goals. So I feel like I've never seen another company do that, so I've, I, I really like the transparency aspect of that. And it makes me feel like they're really committed to sustainability and making fashion a better industry. Another thing about Reformation is that they're the, the second hand market for Reformation is really good. So if you see the prices and you're like, I don't really know if I can afford that. Um, if you look on Poshmark and Depop, there's a lot of Reformation pieces that you can get at a lower price and they might still be kind of expensive. Um, but with those apps, you can definitely negotiate and get them at a lower price. And they have three sales. So one is happening right now, end of summer, and then they have one on Black Friday, and then they have one after the holidays. So that's another opportunity to get stuff at a discount. Uh, so let's get started. So the first section is dresses. Um, I think Reformation is definitely most famous for their dresses. So for dresses, the sizing, I would say that the fit has been really true to size for me. Um, I have one petite size dress and it's a little shorter, but there isn't really much of a difference besides the shortness and maybe like the torso bit fits better, like hits my waist better. Um, but I think if you are petite, you wouldn't really f have a problem with Reformation sizing unless it's one of those dresses with like a really long like neckline or something like that. Um, but their size chart is really helpful, so I would use that to determine what size you are, and it definitely fits me true to size. Also, uh, I really like their ref jeans dresses because they're made out of this knit material, and if they don't wrinkle, you can like actually wash them at home instead of dry cleaning, and they're also cheaper. And they're really cute and flattering, and they actually kind of look expensive even though they're made out of a knit material, so. The first dress I want to talk about is the very first dress from Reformation that I ever bought. And I got this dress. Uh, it's the Lumina dress in the Honolulu print. And it's just the cutest vacation dress, like the most, I don't know, it just makes me think of going on vacation, which is why I bought it. I actually bought it on Poshmark uh, right before I went to Hawaii. And yeah. Second dress is the armadillo dress. And I got this during their after holiday sale. Um, yeah, this dress is really cute. This is the petite size dress, so it is a little short. And I think for their petite sizing, if you're over 5'2, it might be too short for you. Um, I'm 5'2, and it's like, just long enough to be decent, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 
this is one of my favorite dresses for sure. I feel like it's a timeless style and print that I could wear for like any season, any occasion. The next dress is the lavender dress. And this is a linen dress with vertical stripes and ruffles on the top and a side slit. This is probably one of the like nicest pieces of clothing I have because it just makes me feel like a princess. I wore this on my birthday this year and I, I definitely felt really fancy. So next I have this ref jeans dress which is made out of that knit material I was talking about. It's I think it's like a tinsel and something. Tinsel is a eco-friendly material made from I think tree pulp. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah it feels like kind of like cotton. Um, the knit material is really stretchy. It's really like flattering. It's not too form-fitting but it's form-fitting enough to be flattering but it's still totally appropriate to wear at work um, but it's still also pretty sexy so I like that it's really versatile. I actually don't know what the name of this dress is because I bought it on Poshmark as well but it's definitely one of my favorites. Okay the next dress I'm gonna talk about I liked it so much I bought it in two colors I was gonna decide to just keep one and then I decided to keep both of them but um it's the Margie dress and I got it in this yellow color and also this red color and it's just a really cute flattering summer dress I think the tie detail that goes like up and like under your boobs is really unique and flattering and I don't usually like puff sleeves but they're really cute I'm wearing puff sleeves right now um, <laughs> but anyway and the next one is the bell dress and I got this from Depop and this is definitely one of my favorite prints it's so cute it reminds me of kind of like porcelain because of the cute little flowers or like I don't know vintage curtains I don't I don't know it's just cute and perfect for summer um, and the last one I want to talk about is uh, this one is called the Annabelle dress and this is an older color so I bought it second hand from Poshmark um, and I actually I expected this to fit more of like I, just, I expected this to have more of a casual fit but it's pretty form-fitting um, I think the sizing runs a little small so this one's a size small and I usually wear an extra small but it was pretty tight on me Okay, so next I have this pajama set. It's, I mean, they call it a pajama set, but it's definitely something you can wear outside as like a two-piece matching set. The shorts are really short though, so it might be a little inappropriate, but it's really cute. I really like the beachy stripes. Um, the only thing I don't like is that it's super wrinkly. Like, I try to iron this and it's still wrinkly. I could also just be bad at ironing, but I feel like if you're going to wear something for pajamas, you don't want to have to worry about ironing it. So I feel like that's my main complaint about Reformation is that a lot of their clothes are more higher maintenance, and so they're not as travel friendly, but I think that their knits are more travel friendly, which is why I like them a lot. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about tops. Um, Actually, I'm wearing one that I just got from their sale. It's called the Sicily Top. And I really like the, I don't know, I don't really like puff sleeves, as I said before, but I feel like they really work with this top. And it kind of has like a cute milkmaid sort of vibe. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but um, yeah, it's just a really cute like crop top. And I like the color, so. The next top is... Uh, this wrap top, it, I mean, it doesn't, yeah, you can see the try on what it looks like, but uh, it's called the Flora Top. I really like this color. It's a beautiful rust orange color, and I think crop tops are 
or wrap tops are just so classic. So, And the last top I have is a sweater. It's the rose sweater in this beautiful lavender color. Um, and it's a linen knit, so it's super breezy. Uh, I've had my eye on the sweater since it first like appeared on their website, so I was really happy to get it at the sale. But it's so cute. It reminds me of like a vintage piece, but um, yeah. Okay, so lastly, I have bottoms. I'm actually wearing one right now. Uh, these are the Captain shorts. They're a linen tie waist short, and I think that it's just so classic for summer. I mean, you can pair it with basically any top for summer, so just a really nice summer basic to have. Next bottom I have is the Davidson denim midi, mini skirt. I really, really love the stud detailing on the front. I think it's so cute. And I think that denim mini skirts are definitely like a closet staple for fall. So I'm really excited to get this just in time for fall. Oh, this was also in the sale, by the way. The last piece I have are the, I think they're like the Camille uh, high-waisted jeans. Uh, they have like a ripped knee hole thing going on. Um, and they have a little bit of stretch to them. And I found that their bottoms fit pretty true to size, if not a little loose. So if you're in between sizes, I would definitely size down. Um, but I am typically a size 25. I wear a size 25 in Reformation. And they fit generally pretty well with like a little bit of wiggle room in the waist. So if you like your bottoms to be like really tight around the waist, then uh, you should size down. But for me, they're good. I definitely need a little room after a big meal. Um, and these are a little on the longer side, uh, but they have a raw hem, so I might just cut the hem myself. Um, but yeah, they're really cute. And I also got these in a sale. So that was it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments or like in my DMs or whatever. Um, and I'll link all the pieces that are still available down on their website down below in the description box. There are sales going on now, so you can check it out too. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram uh, at cookie cat period herin. I'll spell it out. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.